Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Brother Mario. Welcome to the channel. If you're brand new, welcome. If you've never been here before, the purpose of this channel is I want to show you that we are real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in a divine way. If any of those things vibe with you, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload a video, make sure to like to help me out with the algorithms here. And then finally, leave a comment down below what you took away from this video. All right, so I'm really, really excited about this video. We're in a brand new year, and I want to reveal to you all today the absolute most important Bible verse in the Bible. Now, as a proud apostolic Pentecostal myself, there are some verses that definitely get us hype. You ready? All right, how about, oh, I don't know, Acts 2.38? Yep, I don't know, maybe Hebrews... 12 14 all right maybe first john 4 4 uh-huh yep now we're talking i don't know acts 1 8 after the holy ghost have come upon you you shall have the power yeah let's talk about that but no in today's video i'm revealing the most important bible verse and to be honest with you it's none of the ones i've mentioned already do you want to know which one it is are you ready for it okay the answer is going to surprise you but it's actually genesis 1 1. Let's read that one together. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, you may be asking yourself, Brother Mario, why in the world is this one the most important? I thought Acts 2.38 was the most important, that everyone should be baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus for the forgiveness of their sins, and they shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost as promised to them and the children and generations afar. Well, you're right. That one is extremely important. And I'm not denying the power of that verse. And that's the one that we should be preaching every Sunday, every Wednesday, Thursday, whatever day of the week it is, we need to be preaching that verse. But Genesis 1-1 reveals something about who God is. And what Genesis 1-1 does, it does something that no other verse does. It reveals God's power. Let me put it to you like this. How powerful is God? He created something out of nothing. All right, it hasn't hit you yet. He created something out of nothing. He did the impossible. And not only did he create something, he created the heavens and the earth out of nothing. He revealed how powerful he is in one verse. He created time, space, and matter out of one moment. He revealed how powerful he was in one verse. It's not like he just created fire. He created the heavens and the earth. Like, what? And you know all the rest, right? What he did on, in the other six days and he rested on the seventh. Everything else he did in the Bible was just easy work. Splitting the Red Sea? Yeah, no problem. Raising Lazarus from the dead? Oh, I'm bored. Um, what else? Him making blind men see and, and the deaf to hear? Yeah, no problem. That's just what I did in my downtime. I mean, everything else he did in the Bible was just a mere... doesn't even compare to what he did in Genesis 1-1. Him coming down and flesh form and, and dying on the cross and raising three days later yeah it's like a piece of cake for god our god is just extremely powerful and if you can really understand genesis 1 1 and how impossible that event was well my goodness you are seeing god in a brand new light you understand how great he is how powerful he is how wonderful he is well, hey, I want to keep this video short. I know you all got other videos to watch here, but consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Like this video. If you agree with me, comment down below if you disagree with me. Let's have a conversation about this. But hey, my name's Mar. I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.